We were looking around and then we finally um, found Easy Agile, um, which was the tool I was looking for. And um, well, that's the way how I detected you. And uh, since, ever since uh, I love the tool. My name is Stefan Hoen. I'm working for Enfon, um, which is a cloud PBX provider. Um, we decided to make our company much more agile. I wouldn't say that we have, haven't been agile before, but we wanted to really turn around the culture um, and change things how we work. And that's when I joined Enfon like one, one and a half year ago. And my role is the what we call the agile transition leader. So I'm driving the agile transition within Enfon. We've around 14 to 15 teams. So you have a lot of dependencies. We did that on site. We all the people met. It was more like 250 people that met. And you probably know these walls, which are like five uh, meters wide, three meters uh, high. And there you put all uh, the stickers and then you take threads um, to well, create the dependencies and visualize the dependencies. That was actually a lot of fun, but it was also a lot of chaos, if we honest. <laughs> and I remember, and then we actually uh, dispersed and uh, everyone went back to their offices and you had this really nice wall um, of five meters wide, but it's gone. It's really gone. Can we have that somehow done in an electronic way? And they basically said, well, shrugged and said, we have no clue how to do that. So I um, haven't seen a lot of options that actually concentrated on managing dependencies in a visual way. That's why I chose you. There are some features that make life so easy to manage the dependencies. It is not only about the uh, visualization of the dependent, but also creating dependencies. Uh, there's actually two things I love most. Uh, about the tool. So if you imagine you have like 14 teams, so you would probably say you have at least 140 user stories in a sprint, right? And there's a likelihood there there are dependencies. And I have one colleague, he'd, he'd done a really awesome job. He linked, I would say, almost any user stories um, and I asked him, do you have any idea uh, what we have done there. Well, yeah, I linked the user stories, but can you can you comprehend that? Can you visualize that? He said, no, I can't. So, and I asked him, do you want to see it? So, what do you mean by see it? Well, I can visualize that for you. So, I brought up Easy Agile and I visualized that for you. And so, visualizing it, that was, was fantastic. And, and I asked him, what do you think, how long would it, would it uh, take to actually untangle it? Right. If, if it didn't have the visual um, possibilities. So he goes like one week, probably. OK, and then I showed him what you can do with Easy Agile. So you move it around visually and while you're moving it around, you see whether you create new problems or uh, make it better. And then I'm at, and then I asked him, so what do you think? How long would it take to actually fix the problem now in the visual way we're able to do this and he goes well probably a few hours so it took us three minutes that even amazed us in that case really the tool helps us um to, to do things faster and much more effectively right so and it's really make bring it into the right sequence and um, look whether it makes sense because um, it, it actually shows how, how tools can make a difference. But we're really trying to use some of the techniques that, that are in SAFE. So that's why we uh, do PI planning and we also, also call it a program increment. Um, there's a few things that teams usually do. Um, talk about objectives and um, uh, risks. And one of the three topics is can you show us your dependencies? And it wouldn't, be pro it wouldn't be possible without your tool. But more and more teams, I think, see the value to actually have that support of the planning to see if, if they're running into a problem. And we're trying to establish this as a habit. Well, maybe you are not even aware that you do have a problem. So what I would, would tell them is, if you created dependencies and links within JIRA, just use the tool and visualize it. Try it out.